Hey guys, thanks for joining for another video. Man, what a week for Facebook. Destroyed, decimated. Uh, man, just can't believe it's where it's at. Let me look like a four day. This uh, 99 price is amazing, isn't it? From 383 around there, 384 down to 99. Is that, uh, what is that? Let's look at uh, year to date. Year to date, 70%. And if we go we'll get the high, let's go right there. 73%. Yep. Is that not panic selling or what? So I want to look at the financials now, real quick. Uh, yeah. 10 PE stock right here. You ever seen a 10 PE stock or a 10 PE on Facebook? I, this is the first time I've ever seen a 10 PE on a, a company that was, that I think they had a 30% grow rate, like 25 to 30% regularly. And yeah, look, look where it's at right now. Uh, let's look at the guidance or the analyst expectations for the next few years. So for the next few years, EPS, 9, 10, 8, 6, 9, 9. So that looks like the potential recession we're going into. We're going to dip somewhere in 2023. That's what this is telling me. Price to sales, 2. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that insane? Uh, I think on average, past few years, it was a 10 times sales valuation. So this is what happens when these superstars fall from 10 times sales to two times sales. The company is still doing well. They're, they're uh, obviously they're not getting as much ads. So these earnings are coming down, but someone said price and value, right? Prices, uh, Wall Street prices stocks at what people are willing to pay for them. But value is what the company does, something totally different and it's not like Facebook's going out of business. We're just slowing down growth. That slowdown in growth really crushes stocks. So let's go back to something else I thought that was very interesting. So don't get shocked. I'm going to jump over to all these financials right here on TradingView. Boom. I know it's noisy. Ignore all that. But... Uh, let me try to get in here. The here we go. Oof. Trying to get this pane to open up since I scrunched it. The share count on Facebook because they keep buying back shares has gone down over the past few years and it's done something interesting that i wanted to point out here we go this might be the lowest value market cap wise that facebook has seen i want to say ever because it's a new share count so it's now cheaper in market cap than when it when it ipo'd and it's because they've been buying back their shares. I think that's amazing. So let me get rid of 203 billion in market cap. That's less than when they came out. So if you want to make your own little IPO, isn't this basically getting it at, at below the IPO price? Am I reading this wrong? That's insane. And then I have here, oh, this was, so, uh, before I jump over there, the peak was, this was a trillion dollar company, and now it's under a quarter trillion, 200 billion, a fifth of a trillion. Let me see if I get the same reading over here. Yeah, 263, so they might have a difference in share count. So over here, I showed 263 billion. So if that's the case, yeah, it's still around the uh, IPO valuation at the low. So that's insane. Um, just pointing out the cash from operations, just like a rental property. If you're looking at the rent, 
that it generates. This might be a good analogy. They are slowing down because, hey, the economy is slowing down with the inflation, the expenses, and higher cost of funds. Advertisers are slowing down their 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 budgets to save money to endure what's probably a recession. But let's think about the earning power of this company over the next decade. You know, Facebook, Instagram, Metaverse, are those businesses going to stick around over the next decade? I, I think so. So maybe we'll look at price to sales as well. If I can get it on a price to sales basis, when this was a growing company, the revenue was being valued at a higher multiple. So this is the price and how much sales you're getting for every dollar of stock price. 20 times sales became 10 times sales. And now it's two times sales. I, I'm very interested in that two times sales because I've seen in previous recessions when companies were at similar valuations, bargains. So is this a bargain over the next 10 years? Is this a bargain? Can it go lower? Those are questions we have to ask. What's my risk? What's my risk, right? So they have current assets, current liabilities. It's a positive cash flow company. Total assets higher than total liabilities. Still bringing in operating income. Still have a high profit margin. Still generating free cash flow. Maybe they'll have a few quarters where, where they don't have free cash flow. That's a risk. Total revenue still still higher over the past, what is that, seven, almost eight years? This is a total revenue. So, yeah, it might slow down. Yeah, it jumped up a lot after, uh, you know, the Rona. And that's what people might be concerned. Instead of shooting higher, you see how the trend is all the way up? They're worried about this right here. It shot up a lot, and then it went sideways on average, and now is it going to go down here? That's the question. That's the risk. But uh, I think I heard a stat that 75% of purchases were influenced by uh, Facebook or Instagram, something like that, or, or might might have been social media. Like pe People will still advertise on Facebook. At least, that, at least that's what I believe. So there has to be, this thing isn't going to go to zero. I don't, I don't think that's likely. So uh, I think, where is it? Price to book. So it came out 17 times book, probably even higher, 18 times book. The lowest previous book value was three times book. This is the value of all the assets on the balance sheet net assets right now it's two times book so this is a low valuation historically that that seems quite low can it go to one yeah it could go to one i don't think it goes below one it's not a bank with a lot of toxic assets on their balance sheet but this is noteworthy so i i think downside what, what's it have? Another 30% downside? 30 to 50% downside always? And then the upside over a decade? Who knows what, what it'll do? But you got you to gotta think about maybe the next, the next 10 years and the next bubble. It may take that long because I think the earnings power, it's going to be depressed for a while until the economy recovers and then people will, will want to advertise. People will want to use Instagram and Facebook to advertise their small business. There's going to be some recovery going forward, but we're going to want to look past 2023. 2023 is still going to be a bad year. So it, anyone who's looking at, at Facebook now, it's too late to sell. I mean, if you didn't sell it at the high price, where, where were you all year? 
it's really we're we're past that. We're trying to figure out a fair value for this thing. At least that's what I'm trying to to figure out. Uh, let me get price to cash flow up real quick. So price to cash flow five times cash flow. And I think 13 to 15 was the, the highest old old guidance for, by analyst. And it's 10 times PE right now. So if you get it now, it earns an earnings yield around 10 and you're hoping it stays there and then grows. And then maybe in the future, who knows, you get a call option on the metaverse. So that's the way I look at it. It's kind of like a bond. Facebook is now a value company, an earnings bond. So at, it's not a growth company, not right now. So a 10 PE stock that might grow its earnings over the decade, 30, 30, 30 to 50% higher earnings maybe beats inflation trade it for the rebound in uh, advertising spend. So at the end of 2023, maybe that's how I look at it, but there's still risk because, because uh, the S and P still has risk. So that would be an interesting trade long Facebook short, the market in a ratio spread or a ratio trade, just in case things get worse. Cause, cause meta is now cheaper than the market. The market, I think like if I jump over here, um, if I remember correctly, if we look at the PE ratio of the market, it's at 18 PE and Facebook is at 10. So it's now almost half the market value. Just something to think about. Hope you found this useful. Let me know your thoughts. Cheers.